Choosing an engine to create your games is difficult. There are a lot of options, so maybe you start feeling confused about which one is the best. But here I am to help you. I will talk about the best programs to create video games for free. Also, I will advise you to use a particular game engine based on what you want to build. Now, let's start. The first game engines I'm going to be talking about is Unity. Unity is probably one of the most known game engines. So, as a result, you have a lot of free tutorials on YouTube you can choose in order to start learning how to use it. Then, the community is giant. If you're having some type of problem by searching it online, I'm sure you will find an answer and a solution for it. If you wish to make 3D games or also 2D games, Unity is a good option because you can make either 2D games or 3D games. Talking about the graphical stuff in Unity, as every game engine, the 2D works just fine and the 3D also works really, really fine. Because with Unity, you can make simple 3D projects, you can start trying out the 3D with Unity. And then when you start to know a lot about 3D games, you can make very complex things. Some games made with Unity are Fall Guys, Pokemon Go, Hollow Knight and some other more. Cuphead is another example. The disadvantages about using Unity are the PC requirements. Unless you have a very powerful PC, Unity won't run in that device. You will need very good PC requirements. I'm not saying you are going to need the best requirements, but yes, you will need, a, let's say, a gaming PC. You won't be able to run Unity in an old laptop, for example. Then, as a beginner, I think it was very difficult to start learning Unity, start learning the programming language, which is C Sharp, if you don't know. Start learning the interface was also very difficult, so I can say that for a beginner, Unity maybe is a bit difficult. Although Unity wasn't my first game engines I had used, as I told you before, the programming language, the interface, I think at the beginning wasn't the best for me. So that's another disadvantage about using Unity. At the beginning, maybe it can become difficult. After talking about Unity for a couple of minutes, I will be saying for what people I recommend using Unity. I would recommend Unity to those persons who want a really powerful game engine in both 2D and 3D. Because Unity the 2D works fine as every other uh, game engine and the 3D well it's not best because Unreal's Unreal Engines is better in 3D but anyway 3D in Unity works just fine. Then I will I will recommend Unity to those persons that are willing to learn and maybe suffer using Unity because well as everything in life you have to suffer in order to learn it. But yes, Unity at the beginning maybe it's difficult. I don't like the interface of Unity. It's very confusing when you're starting because you have lots of windows. You have a lot of things you may not understand. And the programming language of Unity, C Sharp, it's mm, let's say a bit difficult also. If your way of learning is watching tutorials, asking people when you don't know something or you're having an error, Unity is also your best option due to the amount of people is using it, the amount of tutorials and errors that are solved on the internet is massive. Let's jump now to Godot Engine. 
Budo is a free open source program to create your own video games. I have to say another thing about Unity that I had forgotten to say and is that Unity is completely free at the beginning but when you start to make money from your games uh, they will charge you but I think is uh, when you start to earn like when you start to earn like more than $100,000 uh, per year uh, they start to um, charge you but anyway uh, in Gujo they don't charge you never it doesn't matter if you're earning a million, a two million, three billions, I don't know, uh, they won't charge you. In Gujo, licenses don't exist. Then, one of the most interesting advantages about using Gujo is the simplicity that Gujo has. The interface is incredible and also in Gujo 4 that is currently in beta, the interface in Gujo 4 is even better. Also the programming language GD script is nice, it's really easy to learn and understand. GD script is based on Python. Python is also other programming language that it's really easy to use, it's really easy to understand and also by learning GDScript you are like learning Python because they have a lot of similarities in syntax and, Py and Python is one of the most used programming languages in all world we talked about advantages about using Gujo, the simplicity and that and uh, due to the fact that there are no licenses. So now let's move on um, the disadvantages about using Gujo. First of all, the community is not big enough, it's very small. Gujo is a game engine that is very new. As a result, there are a lot of people that maybe don't know Gujo or don't know how to make games with Gujo. That's the reason why the community is not big. And why this is important? Because as this isn't a, a known game engine in all the world, there aren't a lot of, a lot of tutorials and information on the internet. So, obviously, if you're starting, you are searching for tutorials, you're trying to learn this new game engine. Although it's a very simple game engine, when you're starting, you always need tutorials, you always, you always need uh, information, and Gujo doesn't have it at all. I'm not saying there, there aren't any tutorials about Gujo, but the amount of tutorials isn't enough. Making 3D complex games in Gujo is nearly impossible. Even though you can make 3D simple projects in Gujo, if you're planning to make uh, something that is very complex in 3D, you won't be able to do it in Gujo. In the next version of Gujo, that is Gujo 4, they are saying there will, they will improve the 3D graphical part of the engine, but I think it won't be as powerful as Unity. I would recommend Gujo for those people who want to make 2D or 3D simple things, and also for beginners to learn the logical part of making games, of learning the process of how a video game is made, I think Gujo is also a very good option. Of course, I wouldn't recommend Gujo for those people who want to make 3D powerful and complex stuff, don't use Gujo because it will be nearly impossible. But overall, I think Gujo is the best game engine to start because it's really simple. Talking about Unreal Engine, this is the most powerful game engine that currently exists. And also, many people say that this is the most difficult uh, game engine to use. This is because the programming language C++. Also, they say that the workflow with C++ 
isn't the best, they don't really like this programming language. Unreal Engine is more used than Guzzo, but not it's not more used than Unity. It's like in the middle between Guzzo and Unity. This means that the amount of tutorials, well, yes, you have a normal amount of tutorials. So that's the first advantage about using Unreal. But the most important thing about using Unreal is the power that Unreal has. Consider that Fortnite is programmed with Unreal Engine. A lot of other powerful games are also made by Unreal, but I give the example of Fortnite because it's one of the most known video games. You can also make 2D games, but I think if you are using Unreal, uh, you should uh, use the 3D part of the game engine. Because if you want to uh, make 2D games, you can use Unity or even Gujo. If you use Unreal for 2D, you wouldn't be taking advantage of the real powerful that Unreal has. I didn't use Unreal, so I can't say a lot of things about it. But uh, as I was investigating for this video, um, I came across information that C Sharp uh, is not a really good programming language or that the workflow while using it is not very good. So I would say one disadvantage about using Unreal is the programming language. Also other disadvantage about using Unreal is the impressive powerful your PC should have. Imagine that Unity is also, a, a, you have to have a really good a PC. Well, imagine a real that a, can make incredible games. You have to have a, even a better PC. So yes, it's a, you have to have a really good PC. I would recommend Unity to those persons who want to build 3D complex uh, stuff obviously because that's the main advantage about using Unreal. If you want to build simple 2D or 3D things just use Unity or even Gudo. These are the three most known game engines. You also have Game Maker Studio or you can even make games without a game engine for example by using Python. But in this video I decided to talk about the three most known uh, game engines because I think uh, that if you are a beginner these are the three options you should consider. Maybe Unreal no, but in the future if you want to build uh, 3D complex things is a very good option. So to sum up everything said on the video, I think Unity uh, is one of the best options when you are starting because Unity in companies, they ask you to know Unity in a lot of companies because as I said on the video, it's the most known um, game engine. Then Unity you have a lot of tutorials who you can use when you are starting. Maybe the interface and the programming languages are not the best, but uh, they work fine. The amount of tutorials is massive, so you can learn it fastly. And at the beginning, it is completely free. Then, Gujo, if you're planning to make 2D stuff, Gujo is obviously your best option. It's really simple and easy to use. The amount of tutorials is not enough and the 3D isn't the best one. You cannot make really complex things in 3D using Guto. Finally, in Unreal Engine, uh, you can also make 2D games, you wouldn't be taking advantage of the power of Unreal. So I would recommend Unreal to those persons who want to make 3D complex things. I am currently using Unity before I had used uh, Guto. I think both are great game engines, you can start to learn. First learn Gujo, then Unity because Gujo is easier. And that should be all for this video. If you enjoyed it, please subscribe to the channel to see more of these videos. Like it and comment it as well. Have a great day and bye bye.